So doing a review, Fresh and Fit, this was one of the clips that they had posted talking about proof that too many girls are basically hoes. And if you're living in a city, I mean, I've lived in Manhattan for the better part of like almost 10 years. And I'm currently doing travel assignments from state to state. But for the most part, if you're if you're living in a city, most of the the young women are about that city life which is living a promiscuous lifestyle. And so for many of these young women that you're going to hear from, a lot of them have, of course, lived, you know, they're living in Miami. They're probably away from their families. And typically, if you're living in a city, you obviously have more people, there's more men, there's more women, there's more options. Most of these women are probably not married. Most of the women that I come across in some of the small, I shouldn't say smaller states, but more rural areas like here in North Dakota, most of the women you come across are married. Most of the nurses that I work with are typically like 25 and under, and I think the vast majority of them are married. Whereas by comparison, when I worked in Manhattan at every hospital that I worked at, you'd meet women who were in their 30s and they weren't married. And that's, it's completely the opposite depending upon the culture that you're around. And so if you're living in a, if you're living in the big city but your goal as a person is to be married, well then obviously you're going to have to move to find what you're looking for. But for many of these people, there's an expression um, when you're a hammer, everything in life is a nail. And so there's this one woman over here and she talks about her experience which we'll probably kind of skim through this video just to listen for a quick second. Um, Marriageable man or your Instagram? My Instagram. Damn. Okay. Instagram, right? Instagram. Ain't no marriage these days. Damn. Instagram. And that's that's the, this is the young woman who later on talks about that she's a three oh four, that she's a hoe, et cetera. She, you know, dudes pay for pay to pipe her down or to get blowjobs, et cetera. And for many young women like that, and we'll probably get a chance to listen to what she says, that's all she brings to the table, and so that's how you treat her. And if you if you're a guy and you're a man of means, if you've got a good job, if you're running a business, <clears throat> there's going to be women that you're exclusively exclusively going to be dealing with on that level. If that's the lifestyle that you want to live, you're going to have women that you're, they're just going to come through and they're going to leave. You're not e shit. You're not even going to take them out for a drink. They're just going to come through. You might order in. And then when it's over, it's over. Say la vie. Uh, and you let them go on their way. And then there's some women that you might want to um do do have a little bit more of an in-depth relationship so where you're going to see where things are going to go this person will regularly be you know in and out of your life for a short for a short period of time just so you can see get to know what what does this person bring to the table is this person quality or is this just another plate that i'm going to spin in the meantime and for many of these young women this is who they are. This is who they present themselves as, and this is how they get treated. And so for them, this is, you know, look, we'll listen to the video and they talk about how I'd rather have my Instagram over a man, et cetera. Uh, and we're going to skip a little bit here and listen to some of the, some of the clips. Blah, 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 blah. It fucking it, is. Because but if I'm getting paid to do it, how, if that's my job? To He'll pay sexy you. Pictures, he's not that's paying different. you that's nothing. Well, well, let's not, be honest. Most girls, bro, yeah. most girls don't make money off the IG like that. Oh, or if they well, do, it's like pennies. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if you're with a guy and he's like taking care of you, whatever and you know and you're putting sexy pictures of yourself up on the internet i consider that cheating you know and and a lot of people had a point of issue with that and i was like listen y'all just proved it right now like no i'll go with the instagram why well because instagram is going to create more opportunities for you than one marriageable man Facts. right you're able to diverse and that's true if you're messing with a woman who is constantly looking to level up if a woman is always basically on the lookout she's got her head on a swivel then yes you know that's that's basically where her bread and butter is right so she's not gonna put all of her eggs in one basket as i say as myron had said she's not going to she's going to diversify her risk instead of just buying one stock i am all in on tesla right instead of being all in on tesla she's buying the s p and that's how many of these women are because they bring nothing specific they do nothing well and so this is who they are and they get treated as such again if you're a hoe then you think everybody else is a hoe if you're a person who is faithful then most of the people that you're going to be around are going to be faithful individuals you're if you're a, a young person more uh, you know whether you're a man or woman and you're looking for these type of people that's those are the people that you're going to surround yourself with if you're looking to be rich what do they say 
If you're hanging around five other people, more than likely you're going to be the sixth. And that's the mindset. But this is what a lot of these young women don't understand is that most of the women that they hang with, as I say, birds of a feather stick together. So these are the type of people that they hang with. These are the type of people that they attract. Diversify your risk. Right. Go ahead. Can I say something? Yeah, sure. So all the women that said marriageable men, they getting their dick sucked by women like me, okay? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Again, because those are the people that she constantly comes around because this is her business. It's like when, you know, working as a nurse during COVID, everybody was like, oh my God, there's so many people that are dying. There's all these people that are coming in sick. But as Jesus said, only the sick need a physician. So we never saw, you know, even though we saw the tens and the thousands, we didn't see the millions that never came in. And so it colors your, it colors your perspective on the severity when it comes to disease processes and how severe a disease is, as how severe a, uh, the, disease, the, the disease was. Just like this young woman. Mo do you think a guy like me is going to hang around her? Of course not. She's not even the type of caliber of woman I would be around. And so the type of men that she's going to attract are the type of men that are going to be attracted to a woman like that, which is why in her, from her colored perspective, all men are exactly the same because that's, those are the only people that she can be around. Those are the only people that want to be around her. So some men have values. And the reason she says that is because that's her experience. The men that she hangs out with are men that have values. The men that she hangs out with are men that are just looking to get to get something out of the relationship and they're going to keep it moving. They view her, she's just a one-stop shop and we're going to keep it moving. Whereas they the other girl that's to the left of her or right here, you know, she might be more the person, we're not talking about looks, but in terms of personality, in terms of morality, the way she lives her lifestyle. And this is what a lot of these young women don't understand that the way that they live their life has a severe impact on the, the people who will come into their lives two of them right out of, out of 100 two of them have have more i'm not going i'm not going to knock it yes you do have some men who who are faithful who have yeah. values pussy and respect the majority yeah. of them i think it has to do with the caliber of men that you deal with and and thankfully somebody's there who's got a little bit of common sense but again that's her perspective since she doesn't live like how she does the like her on her, her mentality her viewpoint is just completely foreign to her it's just like if you've never traveled outside of america your viewpoint is completely colored by uh, america is the best country it's the safest country it's whatever it's the best thing go you know since sliced bread but if you've never, never been to another country if you've never even left your state then your perspective is very narrow and that's what her perspective is she has a very narrow perspective most of the people most of most quality men aren't looking to mess with her most of the guys that are just looking to get a nut and keep her moving those are the guys that she comes around and it's because that's all she can attract that's all that's all her worth is that's all her worth is it's all she, in essence that she brings to the table and the caliber of woman that you are i've been it in doesn't. relationships and no it really does it really does what you have to offer what you bring to the table i've been with a man for eight years and he never how you know i can tell uh, you uh, me too never because i bring pussy to the table so why would you have to look for pussy? it's not about no exactly. it's not about so pussy. one that's one exactly i'm excited i'm spontaneous and i bring more to the table than just sex and that's right. the problem with women nowadays i think that sex is everything cooking and cleaning is the basics you have to bring more to me you have yep. to be and she probably doesn't even do that, which is why the typical typical guys that she messes around with are don't even look at her as even having the basics. They just look at her as a receptacle. This is where I'm going to deposit and I'm going to keep it moving. And it's unfortunate that that's the way she chooses to live her lifestyle. It's the people that she hangs out with. Maybe her mother was that way. Whereas obviously you can see that this woman has a completely different mindset, completely different mentality, the type of people that she's going to mess with. Is going to be different the way that she's going to carry herself is going to be different and so the way that you carry yourself if you only hang out with people who are lazy well then guess what you're going to be lazy but if you're hanging out with people who always have the mindset of moving forward well then you're going to have that same mindset your your um perspective is going to obviously going to change depending upon the people that you hang out with and that's why the bible says that if you associate with bad people well then the result is is that the good habits that you have, whatever good habits that you have, they're going to get spoiled. And they're going to be swapped in for bad habits. If the kids that you hang out with 
do drugs, there's a very good chance that you're going to do drugs. Or at the very least, you'll be impacted by their attitude towards drugs. Whereas if you hang out with people who's only, whose mindset is you know about business and creating businesses and, and establishing wealth and creating wealth, well, then guess what? You're going to have that exact same mindset. And we're going to leave it there for this video. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll check you out next time.